What's up everyone? My name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of MyInvestingClub.com. If you are brand new to trading or are curious about trading at all, I want to let you guys know about a free two-hour mentorship course that I put together with my mentor, Bao. It is available at MyInvestingClub.co. The link is going to be right here. This is a free webinar with limited seating every week, so please click on the link and reserve your spot before the time runs out. Also, a special bonus for all of our viewers on YouTube. So if you guys have any questions about MIC or you're curious about joining or uh, you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you. Uh, you can now text Tosh, who is one of our head mentors and head moderators at MIC, and he'll answer any questions you have about MIC. His phone number will be in the link in the description, and it'll also be right here. Thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Tom Diesel here. Hope you guys uh, had a great month in January 2012 uh, and 20. This month has been quite good for me in terms of PL, but you know that's not what i'm going to cover today since i've been doing it you know for the last uh you know month or two on november and december today i kind of want to talk about one of the uh, trade that i took on friday and which i think brings up to pretty important topic that i think you guys can learn from and you know which that trait particularly got me kind of you know my ego and greed was there and so i just wanted to show you guys how that trait has been affecting me uh, and i did not realize it until you know later in the day that's something i think all of us could suffer or could have that uh, daily without realizing it so that's why i think it's 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 you know pretty important uh, topic so that's why i just want to go over you know particularly that trait uh, which is uh, vxrt so this is my executions on vxrt this is the chart from friday you know it had a you know nice run in pre-market dies down here you know perfect top and now that cover and then you know it's just continue to uh you know grind higher and you know make a new height of day here at 3 p.m and you know after hours is you know went even more so yeah i want to talk about this first it, it's just not really about pnl i was up nicely on friday and i don't know for some reason yeah here is my trades and then we see i got like uh you know one to uh, you know got you know decent money on and then and then uh vc and vxrt uh, uh that one uh I, I traded after the pop and you know had opened here but i was still in this trade uh, when i posted it, so that's why i want to quickly go over that so what happens here i was up nicely in the morning i shot an nvc also and you know what was was all good perfect you guys can see here i top ticket right you know i shot some in, in pre-market as well and quickly cover here and then when it opens i had my orders all the way up here it's like you know 113 114 perfectly top ticket and then i cover right away on that wash which is you know perfect it fits perfectly to my plan that's what i've been doing you know for a year now that's basically my process and right after when i cover that and i look at the pnl you know for this particular trade vxrt i was like you know compared to like uh, an nvc man it's just like, like nothing and i said to myself oh man it's like i'm i'm making like <laughs> like shit on, on on this one and because this particular trade you know uh, it's moving one cent um and you have to size up i mean you have to really size up in to be able to get you know huge uh, you know pnl or huge money because uh, you know all all you can get i think it's around like 10 20 cents or maybe 10 cents on this type of ticker it's a lot you know so you have to kind of use size like me i was like using almost like you know twenty thousand there but this one wasn't the 20k <laughs> so I, I wasn't up enough and right here i cover uh, everything uh, like usually on on the other and uh, you know ticker i would be able to uh, you know call it a day and be done with it because the pnl wise was good and but this one was like just a few hundred bucks and and i said to myself oh man it's like i had to make more so i went back to drill here 
and while I was thinking to myself shit man it's like I'm, I'm not up enough and this dog is like barely moving right it's like just one sense you know what's gonna do to me right it's not gonna squeeze me or, or anything even if it did I mean 10 cents it's, it's, it's probably nothing right so I went back here with size and I showed it back here and when it's like you know those little wicks here I added more you know just to be able to make more on that so that's I think that's great right there and right after that you know it pops back here and you know that that was perfectly fine because 10 30 is around here my plan was good i mean i said to myself all right i'm just gonna keep trading this until 10 30 and i had to cut it and i said that to james as well so i, I just kept adding here and the stocks kept grinding back up right after this point like i was down like 10 cents already you know on pretty decent size because i wanted to make more money right and right after this ad and this one right here basically i gave back everything here so i gave back all those profits i cover here i was done and that was like i, I said to myself oh man shit i give back all the profits now you know that's greed that cost me you know that those profits so what happens here is like after that i was like break even on that trade but man I, I i just couldn't take it so i went back again here it's like not with you know small size but with all those combined in one bullet because it's like kind of revenge trade for me and as soon as after that it broke a new high so i, I was using huge size here and you know at all at once because i think you guys can remember from that day uh, the level two was like you know 10k 50k 60k that's that's nothing on that and so i load the boat here just to be able to revenge that because you know i didn't take the profit you know i went back more and end up like giving all back so i load the boat here and as soon after that you know i had to cover and right this trade I took a loss on that. After that, it's like, you know, after I see stuff, 120, and you know, that point, I was not myself anymore. I think I would be trading anything. I mean, if it pops, you know, back here, I probably would short here or anything. So right after I cover, you can see here, I, you know, I went back right in and short it, you know, back with that size and quickly cover it. And then at, at this point, I was green again. <laughs> It's like trade on the fly kind of thing. I mean, as you can see, if I ignore all the part here, I would be so stress free in the op at the open and not even have to look back. You know, I don't, I don't, don't even have to trade at all after that. See, it was like ups nicely. But uh, you know, that's what I want to talk about today. Is that greed? Sometimes we think or we saw like we see those pnl flashing and we think man i'm not that and you know i'm not up enough it's like and i kind of deviate from my plan and from my process right here because the point you know uh for us as as a trader is that uh, we take what our process gives yeah so that's uh you know something i wanted to talk about today and you know i hope you guys can pick up some uh, you know great lessons here and i think that's uh, useful so all right have a good weekend to you all and uh, i'll see you next time peace thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here